Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Chapter 3 Uzumaki, which I think is probably the story that most people remember that is probably the most popular. Because like even in the ad material or the anime that they got going on on my brain, Adult Swim, like it, it's the it's the bit everybody remembers. It's the girl. Her. Azami. She's got a little scar on her forehead. And that scar, you can see. I mean, you see what's going on here, right? That scar is like swirling stuff in. It's the center of like her magnetic attraction that other people uh, see. That makes other people, uh, men especially, like her. And it starts off with them and Jim period playing volleyball. All the other girls are gossiping about her. Talking about the scar on her forehead. Talking about how she uses and abuses boys. You know, she probably makes them, like, take her out to dinner and then she dumps them immediately or something. I, I don't know the details. We don't go into the details. We're just told how this rolls. Yeah. She uses her looks to get guys. She gets them obsessed and then dumps them. Say she's got a magic power. Magic power? Yeah, to attract boys. Secrets on her forehead. You can't tell because of her bangs. She's supposed to have a scar there. They say that's the source of her power. You better be careful. She'll end up stealing your boyfriend. She's friends. Kiri. So the other girls are trying to scare them off. Scare her, you know, their relationship apart. Oh man, I, I, I gotta show you the shocking bit here. So, Azami meets, um, what's his name? Shuichi. And he is the only boy she's ever met that isn't into him. It's you! Go away! Don't ever come again! He sees the spiral. Remember, he's spiral obsessed. Just like his dad. Just like his mom. He just realizes the spirals are bad. So he detects her spiral power. I feel like I'm talking about uh, Turin Tapa Gurren Lagan here. Oh yeah, spiral and anti-spiral. But like, that's what it is. He knows what's up. Like he doesn't know, no, but he knows. Something mesmerizing about her. It's like looking down from a high place. Like vertigo. It's like looking through a spiral. You have to watch out. She is a spiral. Dude is cracked, but you know what? He's right. She is a spiral. And that's the twist. Uh, we we got to show... I, I won't show you how it ends, but I have to show you... There's the right page. There's, there's one page in particular I'm looking for here. No, no. Oh, that's too far. Sorry, I should have put more little bookmarks in. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to save the super dramatic reveal for later. But Kiri runs into a zombie on the street. Oh, look. See, that's the twist. Now, what does it mean? What happens from here? I can't tell you that, because if I told you that, I would spoil the whole thing. But this chapter, like, we've seen, like, weird body horror stuff. You know? Shuichi's dad, like, twisted himself up into a pretzel. His mom uh, really hurt herself pretty badly. You know, his dad, like, could make a spiral out of his tongue because of the power of his obsession. Her, because her spiral power can't attract him. Because he resisted. It's like manifesting. So previously, you know, she wanted a boy. She wanted that attraction. They would come in, and she didn't have to put any effort in. But he is denying her. And because of that, it's making her go crazy. It's making the spiral have to become stronger to try to pull him in. It's a great little tell about how obsession can ruin your life. And then it combines with, like, body horror and stuff, too. You know, if you, if you like Cronenberg movies, uh, this chapter is that kind of weird. Like, this is going and watching Videodrome or something here. Like, it's that kind of strangeness. It's very effective. 
It's very powerful. And it's drawn in such such horrifying, lovely detail that it is just hard to resist to resist it, man. You know, a lot of mangas, they have chapters that are like 15 pages long or something, but Uzumaki is like, what if I had 40 page chapters? <laughs> and Shijito is just like, let me crank out 40 pages every day. Like a machine. Kind of makes you wonder if he's still human or not, you know? Like, did he get a cybernetic hand or something? I don't know. Chapter 3, where this book takes its turn from being just kind of like potentially crazy people to there really is absolutely bizarre stuff happening. It's your indication that you got to buckle up. Because it's just getting weirder from here. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great one. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.